When you have that humble and confident attitude, it's easy to learn. You can go into work and when I've had this attitude, the boss can make 10 criticisms of me and I can make notes on each criticism and I can recognize perhaps that eight out of 10, nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10 of the, the criticisms are, are valid. And I can implement the changes because I'm confident in my ability to learn from my mistakes. And I'm humble that I recognize that I make mistakes, that I have predispositions towards uh, selfishness and consideration for myself and for other people, uh, carelessness, lack of conscientiousness. Uh, have a tendency to take the easy way out and so if I can confront those criticisms with a confidence that I'm able to listen to them and to write them down to note them and to act on them and the humility that I'm aware of problems that I've had over the course of my life and aware of areas where I'm weak and areas where I'm strong then that's a, a strong background for making progress on your errors. But Kamala Harris seems to have the opposite of that winning personality combination. Right? She is insecure, so she is not confident, and she lacks humility to try to compensate for that insecurity. So in turn, in her office as California Attorney General, uh, reported that everyone would have to line up when she walked in every morning and say good morning general and then they were not allowed to look at her or to interact with her and she treated people terribly. Kamala Harris has a long track record of failing to make decisive decisions and you hear this in all her disastrous interviews. She's a terrible manager of people. She treats people badly because instead of having that confidence and humility she has insecurity and a brittle, arrogant, demeaning approach. So why has the Kamala Harris ticket completely changed their media strategy? Right? If they knew that they were on a winning trajectory, would they be completely changing their media strategy?